The University of Texas at El Paso, in collaboration with Halliburton, presents the Rankin Cycle. Before operating any machinery, make sure to wear the proper personal protective equipment. The Rankin Cycle consists of four stages, as shown by this diagram. In stage one, we have saturated water going through a pump. This pump then leads the water to a boiler, where we have heat addition. This heat addition converts the water into steam. This steam is then sent through a turbine, where we produce our work. And finally, we have to repeat the cycle, so we send the steam through a condenser, which converts it back into saturated water, and the cycle repeats. This can also be shown on the TS diagram for the Rankin cycle as shown here. From stage 1 to 2, we must first power our pump, which means we must have work going into the system. This pump then sends our water over to a boiler, where we have Q in, as shown here. The Q going into the system converts the water over into superheated steam, and it is this steam that we send over to our turbine, where we produce work, as shown by the work out here. Finally, we must repeat the cycle, which means we must turn the steam back into liquid water, sending it to a condenser where we have Q out, and the cycle repeats. This is the Rankin cycle setup you'll be using in the lab, but there are some slight differences with this setup compared to the ones I've shown in previous slides, which I'll be highlighting. In here, we don't power our system with a pump. Instead, we use this water column shown here meaning that this system is completely gravity fed. This will save us some energy because we don't have to power the pump. From the water column, we send our water over to our boiler shown here. This boiler is powered by a propane tank and this will add heat into our system, converting the water from liquid water to superheated steam, which we'll be sending over to our turbine. This is done by using this, the steam admission valve. Opening this valve will send our superheated steam over to our turbine where we will generate our power. And finally, we must convert the steam back into liquid water, which will be done here at the condenser. The steam turbine, shown here, is connected directly to a four-pole electrical generator, which is purpose-built to work specifically with the steam turbine. This is what we are generating our power in the system. The last step in the process, and probably the most important, will be the data acquisition step, which will be done by using this computer right here, which is connected directly to your Rankin cycle. Once your system reaches steady state, you will use this computer to record your data, which you can then analyze later. This concludes this video on the Rankin cycle. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.